Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, I am Michaela. Welcome. I am just going to jump right into this. I'm just going to show you guys how I lay this wig, slay this wig. And if you would like to see that, then just keep on watching. And I know you already know I'm about to say it again. If you have not already, go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and click that notification bell so that you are notified every single time I post a video. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so I have my bald cap or wig cap on. I have my edges pushed back, so we are ready. I'm going to take a pair of scissors and literally I'm going to pull the wig cap over my ear. Starting at the base of the cap, I'm going to cut a hole in there just so that I can allow my ears to be free. And I'm going to do that for both sides of my ears. Okay, so in this portion of the audio, I literally was just rambling, um, but I really wanted to stress the importance of making sure that you start that hole at the base of the cap. You see how when I'm pulling my ear through, there is no indication of hair that has been left out of either one of the sides. So now we're taking that got to be glued freezing spray and we're literally just going to spray this right at the base of your hairline and just push it back. You don't want it to drip down um, onto your face, but this is just going to secure the ball cap method. Um, well, not the ball cap method, but it's going to secure the bald cap um, and you want to just do this for both sides. And if you have a lower hairline, you know, you'll spray it lower. If you have a higher hairline, you'll spray it higher. Um, but just make sure that you're pushing that product into the cap. This is just going to ensure that the ball cap is actually attaching, or the wig cap, excuse me, is attaching to the skin. Um, so yeah, just be very, very um, accurate, I guess, with this. Feel free to take your time and just make sure that it's all secure. So next we're gonna take this Revlon blow dryer. We're going to put it on, I think I put it on the medium setting and we're gonna click the cool shock button. We're just going to continue to blow dry this until it is completely dry or at least halfway dry. Um, making sure that the ball cap is dry is super important. Next, we're gonna take some uh, um, foundation. I literally dropped it on myself, but we're gonna take the foundation and the brush and we are just going to apply this to the ball cap. Um, we are going to literally only put it in the front. You do not have to put it all over. Um, I think that's like really unnecessary, especially when you really just want it for the front. Um, but yeah, you're just going to coat the front of the cap um, as opaque as you can. This is going to create that scalp-like um, finish. Some people like their scalps to be lighter than their skin tone. I like mine to kind of be close to exact. So this is probably my exact foundation shade, maybe a little bit lighter. But yeah, you get the gist. Just coat it with some foundation. Now we're gonna take that same pair of scissors and we are going to start cutting off the wig cap starting from the center. Um, do take your time with this step. It is very easy to cut too much cap. Um, it's better to just leave a little bit too much and then just you know cut more as you try your wig on. But I like to start in the middle and work my way out. Um, for this method today, I don't know what was so different, but it was fairly easy. I think because I let the droop, the glue dry down almost to a hundred percent. But um, yeah, so yeah, we're just cutting the ball cap, which is like your skin lace. Um, and we're just going to continue to do that. So this is what you should be left with when you're done. Nice and skin, we're gonna continue on melting this cap. So we're gonna take the got to be gel in the black tube and we're just going to squeeze out as much as I can. I'm literally almost out of that. Um, but we are going to use this as a, I 
guess I would say an extra melt. So I'm using the end of my rat tail comb to just add a thin coat of the gel. This does not count as a layer um, of adhesive, but this is just going to ensure that the ball cap is completely flat or the wig cap, I keep saying ball cap, but this is just going to ensure that the wig cap is completely flat so that when you lay your lace on top of it, you aren't seeing those little white, um, the little white portions of the lace that you did not um, coat with the foundation. This step is ultra important because seeing that lace poke through is going to be just thick and we're going for that seamless scalp like effect honey. We're going to take that same blow dryer again and just blow dry that down making sure that it is nice and laid and now we are going to move on to actually applying our wig. So the unit today we are going to be using is from the Prestige Beauty Bar, AKA my business. Um, I have cut and styled her. She's ready to be applied. Um, what I'm going to do fairly quickly that I didn't put in the frame, um, I am just adding makeup to the lace and that is just going to give the overall enhancement of the scalp-like finish. Um, this step is not necessary if you tint your lace or if you really just don't want to put makeup on it, but I like to do that. Um, so I always just add some makeup onto the cap. Moment of truth, you see how when I'm attaching that, there is no indication of a ball cap under there it literally melted right onto my head part of that is also the amazing lace that i carry um <laughs> just tuning my own horn self promo um but i'm just making sure that my wig is fit on and snug but as you can see it literally melts so well um it just looks like a scalp it just looks amazing this is something I always do before I add my form of adhesive. I am just fitting the wig to where I want it to lay down. This is just going to ensure that it is a smooth and easy application and that I don't have any of that cap peeking through. So I'm just adjusting the wig to my liking. Um, but let's go ahead and start laying her down. Now that we have her on, I'm gonna take our edge brush and I'm literally just going to brush these baby hairs that I have already pre-cut. I'm going to brush them in a back motion because I do not want any of the baby hairs to lay on the ball cap. All of those hairs that have come under, just do that. So this is the most important part when laying your frontal down. This is going to also help with the longevity is the way that you lay your adhesive. Now, I don't wear my frontals for extended periods of time just because I like to switch my hair up and with my 4C natural hair, I, have, I deep condition every week. So at most, I'll leave my frontal on for a week, maybe five days, just depends on how I'm feeling. But either way, so for my adhesive, I am going to use my Got To Be Styling Gel. It's a great holding gel, um, and it's also good for if you're somebody like me who doesn't wear their frontals um, weekly or bi-weekly like some people. So I just squeeze a little bit out, and I'm going to put this on the back of my hand. This is probably way too much, but... I did it anyway. And then I'm going to reach over and grab my free spray again, and we're gonna spray this on top. We're gonna to take that rat tail comb and just mix this together. This is kind of just like a little concoction. And once I, I'm gonna kind of let you see me mixing it. And as you can see it coagulating together, it's becoming a lot more of a thicker consistency, um, which is what you want. This is, this literally helps my frontal stay on all the time. But now we have the consistency that we want. Don't be inappropriate. I know what it looks like, but this is our adhesive. And this is what we're gonna use to lay down our wig. Okay, so now that I'm done talking your head off, we're gonna start laying down that adhesive. I like to start in the center and do really 
tiny strokes as you can see like I'm not just doing one large stroke this is just going to ensure that the layers that I am adding are even this consistency is a lot thicker than your average like ghost bond or gold hold um, but this is not waterproof so if it rains you know if it gets wet it will lift a little bit but not much um, even in rainy or humid weather and I live in Florida my frontals still last at most a week and a half um, but anyway so we're just taking that rat tail comb and going around the edges and you notice that I'm putting it halfway between a little bit after the um, cap and a little bit before because when we're laying it we want to make sure that we are not laying it behind the hairline. Um, I like to do a little bit more of a thicker coat um, when it comes to my outer portions because they are always the first to lift up. Anybody that wears frontals often knows that. Um, but I'm gonna stop rambling. This portion is pretty repetitive, so I'm just adding layers and then I'm going to blow dry them down. So now that I have all my layers on, I'm just pulling that wig forward. As you can see, when I start to lay her down, she just melts into the skin so amazingly. Um, but I'm just starting it a little bit, like I said, in front of the cap. And I'm literally just going to do small sections at a time. Um, if you try to go too fast, um, it will not lay properly. So do take your time to make sure that you are laying it down um, as accurately and as evenly as possible. Okay, so I pulled some more baby hairs down and I am just going to take my scarf and lay it across the front of my head. I don't have one of those fancy satin scarves. I will get one, but this one has worked perfectly. And we're just going to leave this on the head for about five minutes just to let that adhesive melt and then we're gonna come and form our baby hairs. Okay, so I am back. I've removed my scarf. You can already see that my lace is becoming laid. I'm taking those longer hairs and I'm using that same pair of scissors and cutting those baby hairs how I want them. Do not mind the white that is still poking through from the lace. I will cut those before I start to form the baby hairs. Um, but I like a lot of baby hairs or fuller baby hairs around my hairline. So mines are going to look a little bit thicker and a little bit more full. But yes, this is how I cut my baby hairs. Okay, so now we're ready to lay those baby hairs. I'm using the ISO Plus um, Foaming Wrap Set Lotion. Um, you can get this at your local beauty supply store. And I'm just going to literally spray like a bucket load like a hundred times i probably dropped so many drops of this stuff like on my shirt throughout this video <laughs> like then um but just catch it but this is what i like to use to form my baby hairs um i like it because it's very lightweight it's not as heavy as another gel so it's not gonna be shiny um but yeah we're just going to add that all over the front of the hairline and let's start laying okay so i'm taking my edge brush and i'm starting to brush those baby hairs down down. Um, and I went from my edge brush to my rat tail comb just because I wanted it bigger. But notice that as I'm swooping the baby hairs that I'm very lightly using my finger. You don't want to press on the foaming lotion too hard because it is a water-based product, which means that it will start to lift the lace up. Um, so just be very gentle with the baby hairs. I like a good swoop. So I'm mainly using my fingernail when I'm forming them. Um, but as you can see, they are swooping up nicely. Um, but yeah, this is how I lay my baby hairs. It's kind of repetitive again, so I'm just gonna speed through this and then yeah, we'll move on. So I am back to unveil these baby hairs. Y'all are about to be shook. I left my wrap on again for about five minutes. And oh my God, you can see I am so lit. Do you see my hair? Um, I went and I blow dried it and straightened it a little bit. But 
I'm just getting those little bits off but as you can see she is scalpiana like she looks so good and I'm so happy the way that the baby hair is turned out um but yes she is laid like do y'all see that scalpiana okay thank you yeah guys so this is the finished look I'm just showing you that you can part this any way that you want due to it being a frontal um but yeah thank you guys again so much for watching be sure to like and subscribe to my channel don't forget to click that bell notification icon as well i really do appreciate it this year i'm going to focus on posting a lot more new videos are going to be every week love you guys see you in the next video bye